It's currently October, so you know what that means. It's time to round it up. It is time to talk about my September 2022 sewing mix. So if that's some content you would like to see, keep on watching. <laughs> Hey everyone, oh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video, I'm going to take you on a quick recap of my monthly makes for September 2022. So before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. If you are new to the channel, welcome, hello, ciao, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, waguan, bonjour. If you are returning, you know what to do. Go get your coffee, tea, anything you want to do or drink, you know, basically drink coffee, everything, you know, and come chill with me as we quickly go on this ride with the September 2022 sewing makes. Now, I want to warn you that this video is going to be relatively quick. Why? Because I looked at how much stuff I sewed and it is not as much as I did in the summer months. Now, if you know, because I was a teacher at the beginning of the start of the year, you guys know that when school started, I was sewing less items, which is normally what happens when school starts. Um, but I want to show you the, I think it was eight items that I sewed last month. Um, and also I did a sew along as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, so let's talk about how I had two collaborations and a pattern testing this month. But first, let's talk about the pattern testing, okay? So the first thing I sewed was a pattern testing for Stephanie from Sew With Stephanie. It was her first nursery collection pattern, which was called the Alexandra dress. Y'all remember that? <laughs> yeah, y'all know about that, all right? Now this dress was so comfortable to wear, and if you see my pattern review for this dress, then you would know that I donated this dress to my high school friend's daughter named Cheyenne. Now I have created two videos regarding maternity, nursing, of that sort, I will put both in the description box below, but Cheyenne loves this dress. She was so amazed, she wants me to make another one, <laughs> which because this is a pattern testing, I will not be sharing the pattern with anyone. Um, so therefore, the only thing I could tell her mom to do is purchase this pattern, which her mom did purchase this pattern. However, I will not be making another one for Cheyenne. It was my con contribution to Stephanie for pattern testing as well as because the uh, pattern fit Cheyenne and I wanted to make something for her or purchase something for her, it was an easy way for me to just donate that dress to Cheyenne. Now I do love that fabric and I cannot get that fabric. So it was kind of like a bittersweet for me, all right? But I do wanna thank Stephanie for allowing me to test this pattern for her. For all of my viewers, if you have not purchased this easy beginner friendly pattern, go to the link in the description box below and I will also put it up on the screen so you're able to purchase this elegant pattern from Stephanie at Sew With Stephanie, the Alexandra dress. Now, it's great even if you are not nursing, or maternity or you know you're not you know expecting at this moment which is also why I am making this dress again now the fabric used was a floral crepe knit from fabric.com but I purchased the fabric through Amazon so if you don't know fabric.com does have fabric on Amazon that you can purchase on Amazon as well just FYI for you all right I also did a pattern review for this dress so you can check that out in the description box below as well if you are interested in that pattern review and for some reason you missed that pattern review. All right, so that was the first thing that I did was that dress. Now moving on to the two collaborations that I had in September. So the first collaboration was with the, with the amazing Michelle from The Real, at The Real Michelle Sews Again on Instagram. But here on YouTube, her screen name is Michelle Sews Again, all right? Now what we did was we collaborated on hashtag so purple to NALZ. If you have not visited any of the amazing YouTubers channel and their personal stories about how Alzheimer's disease affected one of their loved ones, I suggest, once again, I highly suggest you check it out because all of the YouTubers were amazing. I checked out majority of the video. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say I checked out every single video because I did not. I checked out 
more than half of the videos for this event just to see everyone's story. Now I, ha I still have people's videos to comment on, which I will go back and do that as well, but it is marked as save for later until I comment. Okay, you guys know I do that, okay? So if I don't comment on a video, it's not that I haven't seen it, it's just I don't wanna mark it until I have actually seen it and comment on it, all right? Now what Michelle and I collaborated on was a jumpsuit. So for my jumpsuit, I use Simplicity 8060 by Mimi G to contribute to this collaboration. In addition, I made this as my birthday outfit as well, and it was amazing, okay? I will be sewing this jumpsuit again in the spring summertime of next year. It, um, because I do want to sew at least one more of this pattern, even though it's a lot of pieces. But I think I need one more for like a getaway uh, type thing for the spring summertime. I think it would be amazing for that and make it short sleeves. If you do not have this pattern, I suggest looking for it on Etsy or eBay or Amazon or better yet, Head up Mimi G herself and see if they can do like a reprint or offer it in PDF format of something of that sort because this pattern right here is amazing, okay? Thank me later for that. All right, so I use 100% and car print from Wax Prints and More for the fabric. Now, it is currently sold out for this fabric, but if I come across it again, I will be sure to share that information with you guys because you guys know I like sharing information. And speaking of information, and speaking of wax prints and more as well, she's currently having a 50% off sale on select fabric. Now listen to me when I say this. In the search bar, when you go to wax prints and more, you must type in sell. Once the fabric comes up, add them to your cart. So click on add to cart where 50% will come off automatically. Now the sale is good until fabric runs out, so there is no end date whatsoever on this one. As I just checked with Sherwa from Wax Prints and More Friday, I know a few of you picked up like five to 10 bundles because you guys have DM me and it was like, thank you honey for this or whatever. So that is amazing. Also, I'll show you what I picked up in a different video. <laughs> You guys can check out the pattern review for this jumpsuit for hashtag so purple to end ALZ and my birthday outfit linked in the description box below as well. Also, let's talk about that second collaboration that I did in the month of September. It was with the beautiful, the amazing Sarah from Learning So Much on IG. We collaborated on Teacher's Edition. Now, if you did not, you know, see that, you guys will know that every day during that week of Teacher's Edition, I kind of showed you guys pictures of the outfit that we created of, you know, both outfits. She showed her, I think she did six, five or six, I did six to be exact, um, of what I created for the Teacher's Edition. The collaboration was to sew three pieces minimum and pair with things already in your closet to create a week of looks for a teacher. Now, I did not sew three pieces, and I'm going to admit, and there's a reason why. Now, I chose um, to use Mimi G Simplicity 8749 in order to sew together my yellow linen jacket as well as the linen pants, okay? You guys love that pairing. Now, I also took items from previous makes to pair with this event as well, which is why I did not get three pieces done. I only was able to get two. I also gave a full pattern review, a short reel to show the movement in each garment as well. It was work during this photo shoot on school grounds to capture the elements of what it's like to be at a school taking photos. You can see all the details to this collaboration link below as well. But the reason why I did not create three pieces is because one time ran out. Okay, I was running out of time. Also, I have created so many pieces. So I did speak with Sarah and she was fine with just us doing two pieces instead of three. Now, I believe Sarah did sew three pieces total, but I only sewed two new pieces because it was a whole suit that I did. And then the lining as well, okay? 
And I just paired three different, I think I paired like four or five different pieces to go along with it. I paired some blue jeans, a black shirt, a skirt, a cami. So I was just given different elements of what you can do in order to create a teacher's edition. If you have not seen that video, I will link it in the description box below so you can see that as well. All right. Now moving on to the last two things I sewed as part of the dress series and the skirt series in the month of September. But I also turned all three pieces into a collection called the Hurricane Ivan State of Emergency Collection. Okay, so this was not intentional, but I, I was like, why not? All right, so it was kind of like last minute. So for the dress, I used Butterick 6323, which is a Gertie pattern, which is also sold out and out of print. But um, if you go to that video for the dress, you will know that I tightened the dress up at the shoulders for a better fit. I set that in the pattern review. So the fabric for all three pieces is from House of Mami Wata, which is also sold out at the moment. But if you go to the video for the skirt, I picked similar fabrics that is as similar as I could possibly get for this animal zebra leopard well not leopard but zebra style print fabric now let's go ahead and move over to the skirt and top now I use new look 6659 for the skirt to create the ninth skirt as part of the skirt series which was the pleated skirt I gave a full pattern review for <laughs> that pattern as well so I'll spare you all the complete details for it okay but I actually like this skirt and will be wearing it to work next week. I already pulled it out of my closet. I already pulled out all the things I'm going to wear it next week to work. Now for the top, it's good. It's a good pattern. It is a TNT pattern. If you don't know what TNT stands for, it's tried and true. Now this pattern is McCall 7542, which is also McCall's 8161. I have used this pattern so many times this year. I actually set that on the video so i'm gonna spare you all those details as well and just link everything in the description box below okay and i'll also put it on the end screen now well those are all the things i sold this uh this well this month well i'm gonna say last month in the month of september because now we are actually in october okay now those are all the things that i sold in the month of september outside of the sew along for new look 6691 which i will link that on the end screen and in the description box below as well well that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep hey, Okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the holy key. You're supposed to be this close to me. And hopefully you understand, yo.